I cannot stop eating these tofuti cuties. They are dairy-free ice cream sandwiches. This one is the mint chip flavor, but I will say the original vanilla is the best one. It's about 6 p.m. right now. Tonight I'm heading over to Lauren's to celebrate her brother Hudson's birthday. <laughs> Everyone's helping out. It's a team effort tonight in the Lutheran. Yeah. I'm the chef tonight. I don't know about that. I really feel like Olivia's spearheading this entire operation, but okay. Sure. All right, go. I flipped the meat and then I Yeah. That went over really well, Cam. I'm gonna come back in five minutes okay, and we can yeah, redo that. Okay, great. Okay. Yeah, 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 you totally, yep. Because after this, we should just put this all into one. Literally splattered everywhere. Really? <laughs> one rock playlist. Happy birthday to you. Wow. Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> 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 I'm horny, dude. Yeah. Thanks. told me about this one a long time ago. Spray and wash. Spray it on the stain, you throw it in the wash. Yeah, this was the right move. My office table got switched out this morning, just now. You can just tell by how much room is around the table now. Sorry, this office is a mess. Yeah, there's so much more space. So now I can really play around with this and rotate it different ways. It's definitely the better move. Whoever voted for the smaller size, you are absolutely right. But the funny thing is, I didn't even check for the size in this exact table. I was comparing it to a completely different brand. That smaller size actually was still bigger than this one, I think. This is the smallest of the three. A lot of you guys were asking where I got this from. It's from Crate and Barrel. If any of you guys are wondering where my outfit is from, both the top and leggings are from Fabletics. Check out the zipper. It's also a pocket. Today's video is sponsored by Fabletics. For those of you who follow me on Instagram know that I've been working with them for a few months. It is a global active lifestyle brand. The company was co-founded by Kate Hudson. Big fan of Kate Hudson. And they drop collections every single month. They are a company that embraces different body shapes and just wants every woman to feel beautiful and sexy and comfortable when they're working out, running errands, whatever you do in workout clothes or loungewear. I wanna show you guys a few of the pieces that I got this month and just some other stuff that I've been excited about. If any of you guys are a fan of the stuff I'm about to show you or you wanna pick out some workout pieces on your own, if you click the link in my description box, you can shop with that link and if you use that to become a VIP member, you can get your first two leggings for only $24. There are no fees when you become VIP or paying obligations. You pay whenever you're buying something. This is literally only to your benefits. This month, they released a bunch of new colors in the Trinity legging because it just sold out so fast and it's one of their really popular styles. So the ones that I'm wearing right now are Trinity. They basically all feature different pockets, which is very, very useful when you're going on walks or jogs or anything. So this green pair features a pocket in the back right here. Incredibly stretchy, so comfortable. I also got this set this month. This is the bra. Geometric, futuristic. And then these are the leggings. So they feature pockets on the sides. Literally three individual pockets. It's awesome. This gray pair features a mesh panel on the side. If you can see that, very cute. And it has the little side pockets. These are two leggings that I got last month. Los Angeles is just not letting it be fall. It is so hot right now. So I like the option of having biker shorts and their biker shorts are insane so comfortable. I wanted to show you guys this pair because they're so cute. They're highlighter yellow. I have an all white pair as well, which is just so cool and sleek. Amazing for any like hot yoga classes or hot Pilates because you sweat a bunch and it's nice to wear like shorts. Separate from workout clothes, this month I got a workout bag. It's called the Minimalist Bag. And it was a part of Kate Hudson's edit, which are just her favorite pieces of the month. Obsessed with this shiny black material. It's really, really soft. 
and mushy. It's got pockets on the outsides, pockets on the insides. Last but not least, I got this little lounge set that is so cute. These magenta little lounge shorts and then this little velvet bra. It's like halfway a bralette, halfway a top, and this is just the cutest little lounge set to wear at home. As I said earlier, if any of you guys want to become VIP and get two leggings for $24, and they have so many other discounts for VIP members and benefits, so that will be down there. Now I'm gonna go in and organize all this because this room is a mess. It's about 3.30 p.m. and I am uploading my Revolve vlog. I have never edited a video so fast in my entire life. Today has been just a lot of computer work. I think I'm going to go to the grocery store in a bit. We're out of almond milk, which is just unacceptable. I don't even remember the last time I baked something. It's been that long. That's kind of sad. Did any of you guys bake a ton growing up? Because I feel like I did it at least once a week. My mom and I always made lemon poppy seed muffins with like a lemon glaze on top. And we would do like gingerbread loaves, brownies, fudge brownies. That was a huge thing in our household. I really want to make some banana muffin bread. Three eggs. I'm going to use Bob's Red Mill egg replacer. Also, just to stay in theme and be nostalgic, Nostalgic. While these are baking, I am going to throw something on on Disney Plus. Have any of you guys signed up for Disney Plus? Because we were screaming. It's like it's your whole childhood. Smart House, Cadet Kelly, even Stevens. That's so Raven. Hannah Montana, A Bug's Life. Just mind blowing. <laughs> I'm thinking of watching either Tangled or Frozen tonight and I realize that those actually are not that old. I'm in a princess mood tonight and those are the ones that I'm thinking. Wow, this is thickening up. Okay, we've got our fake eggs. Ooh, I've never used this oven before. We already turned it on. Where's the dial? What? Okay, I'm baking with organic coconut cooking oil. I remember back in the day when I used to bake a lot at my family house. I feel like it was most common to bake with vegetable oil or like canola oil. I would straight up use olive oil if we didn't have anything else. I would bake brownies with olive oil. That is not okay because it has such a distinct flavor. Bottoms up. Here goes nothing. I'm very confused. I figured this loaf pan wouldn't be too large. Is this gonna rise? It's like an inch high. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm using like an egg replacer, but I still feel like the volume of the dough wouldn't really be any different than what it is right now. There you go. Halfway through, I had to loosely cover it with foil. Okay. I will say it smells really good. It's perfect. Going in theme with today's sponsor being a fitness and lifestyle brand, I get a lot of questions from you guys asking what I do to stay in shape. I will be honest and I will admit that I am definitely not the strongest I've ever been right now. I would say earlier this year, I was in such a good swing of going to hot Pilates a ton. I had such strong muscles. I was feeling so great. I definitely haven't lost all of it, but I think in the thick of moving and changing locations and everything, and also, yeah, yeah, moving, you know? There's so many other things to do right now that I just have not been carving that time. The thing that's helped me through this transition process is doing nighttime workouts. It's really funny because genuinely, no joke, I do this every single night or variations of it. Sometimes I go a little harder, sometimes I do just the basics, but every single night while we're getting ready for bed, brushing our teeth, about to go in the shower, whatever, Phineas and I just do workouts on our carpet I guess I would feel weirder if he wasn't doing it with me, but we straight up like do push-ups together on the floor every night. A lot of this is sort of inspired and based off of moves that I've learned in Hot Pilates. So try them out, see how you feel. I'm not using any equipment, no weights. It's all based on, I forgot what the term is, but it's workouts based on your own body weight. This might look silly and it might not look hard, but I promise you the longer you do it, the harder it gets. I love doing any sort of arm movements so I'll do like 20 going up, 20 going down, 20 going forward, 20 going backwards. I love this one. I don't know. I just, I feel like I'm getting the tricep, right? <laughs> the back of my arms. I'll do the pushes and then I'll also do forward circles 
backward circles. I don't know what you would call this, but turnovers maybe. I do these as well, and I will literally just do this sitting on the floor or like in front of the mirror. I also push my arms back and I'll do this and then I'll squeeze them together. You can pretty much just kind of do whatever you want, but just keeping your arms up and moving and in different directions works for me. It helps to give my arms at least that lean muscle. It might not be like building crazy muscle. I like to get creative with this because it can start feeling really repetitive, but since you feel the burning in your arms, it's kind of fun because you're like, oh yeah, I'm burning my muscles. I'll do stuff in the front like this. Push-ups, of course. I do push-ups on my knees. My approach to sharing all this with you is very casual right now and I'm starting to feel like I should just film a video where I do the entire workout and you guys could follow. Let me know if you want that. I don't think you guys want to watch me do this for so long unless that was the purpose of the video. Growing up, I used to be so, so afraid of squats. I always thought that they would make my thighs look too muscular or bulky. I have found that they work really, really great for my body type. As long as I'm not using weights or anything, it really helps to keep my thighs lean. Not much a runner okay I'll just do regular squats like you know 20 or something make sure you don't let your knees go over your toes hot Pilates taught me a lot of different squats so another version is going on your tippy toes with one foot and then doing small squats like that so I'll do like 20 on one foot 20 on the other and then I'll switch back and forth between each toe I'll do these little toe taps so you just stay on one foot and you just tap your foot forwards to the sides, backwards. You're balancing your whole body on this stationary leg. So you're gonna really, really feel it both on the inside and outside of this leg. And then of course do the same exact thing on this leg. Crunches, gotta love crunches. I love bringing my hands together and tapping on either side of my body. Obviously bicycle crunches, I feel like that is a very popular thing. Any sort of leg lift as well. Making sure to support your lower back and just bringing your legs up and down. I'll switch off lifting both legs. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, that is how simple I keep it. I just do my arm circles, my push-ups, different crunches, and then a bunch of different squats. And this is like the bare minimum. I'm doing this because I'm not doing anything else besides occasionally jogging and um, lots of walking in the morning with Phineas. But that's just where I'm at right now. I'm not saying this is the most ideal workout routine ever. This this is actually the opposite. This is me not having any routine whatsoever and just doing something before bed. Think of it as like a starting point, ground zero. The last tip that I wanted to leave with you guys is remember that you can make physical activity a part of your day. I was doing different workouts down in the living room when I was watching Tangled. <laughs> Anytime I'm watching YouTube videos or listening to anything, I always make sure that I'm getting up, I'm moving my body, taking the stairs when I can. Little things like that, all of it adds up and I guess that is what this whole segment of the video is. It's just to motivate you guys to try these random little room exercises. There's so many YouTube videos that are way more qualified than this one. But yeah, I'm probably gonna do a few more workouts while I'm here, why not? I used to get bullied in middle school for doing crunches in a YouTube video and showing my subscribers how to work out in your room. Here I am at 23 doing the same exact thing. So we do the best we can. I love you guys so much and I will see you for a new video very soon. Bye.